This week, um, a member of the Liberal Caucus, uh, in questioning the finance minister, discovered that EI uh, enhanced EI eligibility was backdated uh, to two weeks prior to the passage of the budget. This is a detailed question, but it had the immediate effect that the Liberal Senate realized that if they held Senate hearings until the 27th of March, it would delay uh, getting EI benefits to Canadians in need for more than two weeks. Immediately on realizing that, the Senate caucus met and at my recommendation unanimously agreed that we would, they would vote the budget uh, through all stages this afternoon so that if we get royal assent, the key point is Canadians in need of it would be eligible for this enhanced five weeks additional Mr. EI Let me finish. on the 1st of March. And I'm very grateful to the Senate. They showed Canadians why we need a Senate. And they also showed that no Liberal will ever stand between a Canadian who stands in need of employment insurance and the benefits they need. Now, if you read uh, the budget plan, this is the document that Mr. Flaherty mm -hmm. uh, tabled in the House of Commons when he brought down the budget, the budget plan. Uh, read through that and look at the sections that deal with employment insurance. The government uh, budgets no funds for this purpose in the current fiscal year, only in the next fiscal year, which means it basically has effect after the, uh, the 1st of April. The same is true with the government's report card that it filed the other day. Uh, that too suggests that uh, the effective date for, uh, for all of this uh, is in fact the 1st, of, uh, the 1st of April, or at least some date certain in the, uh, in, in the future. What's odd about this provision, Don, uh, is that uh, rather than saying the unemployment insurance changes will come into effect on X date, mm -hmm. which is the normal way of, uh, of doing this, you could have picked the 1st of March, you could have picked the 1st of February or the budget date, uh, January 27th, or better still, pick the 1st of the, of the calendar year, January 1st. Uh, instead, the government embedded this very strange formula that uh, is quite unexpected, saying that the, uh, the provisions will take effect two Sundays before the day upon which royal assent is given. It almost looks like they were trying to, to uh, set up a situation where unemployed Canadians would be, uh, would be uh, held hostage. Uh, we didn't want that to happen. And as soon as the legal effect of this provision was, uh, was uh, analyzed, uh, uh, Mr. Ignatieff moved very quickly to make sure, as we had committed from the very beginning, we will not delay measures right. having to do with stimulus yeah. for one nanosecond, and All we have right. not they done that. It's the, the strangest uh, configuration you've ever seen, Ralph Goodell, but you didn't see it when you should have seen it. That's my point. Well, the, the, the point, Don, is that when Mr. Flaherty was asked that question in the Senate Committee on Tuesday, he couldn't answer the question. He may have found the answer by the time he appeared on your program later in the day, but when he was asked the question in the Senate Committee, he asked an official from the Department of Finance to come to the table and explain it, because it was, uh, it was so peculiar and convoluted. Uh, the fact of the matter is that the normal way you should have done this is to pick a specific date rather than some strange uh, two Sundays before mm -hmm. uh, last Thursday's nephew's birthday kind you of thing. Do you think that they but set you up? Were trying to set you up on this? Well, uh, it seems to me they were trying to play a political game because every other section in the bill, as I've been able to look through it, mm -hmm. uh, has a specific date attached to it. Okay. It does appear that a political game was being played here, but God, we, God, we're not going to fall into that God. trap and we got the benefit to Canadians on the first the available day. Blowing, Ralph.